Michael felt sure there should be something said about the joy one feels when released to do something you have been honing your skills at for over a thousand years. With a scream, another man died. The attacking teams were starting to crack. The shrieks of their comrades dying horribly were affecting their resolution to stay and fight. The deaths didn't come from bullets or bombs, but were delivered up close and personal. Men suffocating in their own blood, or heads cut from bodies, would land next to nearby allies. The smoke bomb coverage they had used to try to hide from defensive fire was now working against them. Lack of visibility meant the source of the screams and location of the killer was a terrifying mystery. Michael attacked a group of three men surrounding a large bag. Each man faced out from the center where the backpack was lying. One man had his arm behind him, touching the bag. That was the first arm Michael cut off. The second man died. When four finger-like daggers slashed across his face, leaving his jaw hanging at an odd angle, with the last gurgle of dying breath, his gaze was fixed on the man with red eyes and glistening fangs. Michael's attention turned to the third man rapidly penetrating his eyeballs with the weapons his hands had become. He pulled his fingers out of the corpse to slice the neck of the still-screaming first man. Good times. <laughs>